loving it so far. It's uh, the mission changing over because there's a lot to go through. Yes. But I think in the long run, we into soil health, into uh, water penetration, I think all of it's going to be a plus. So with Willie Lucas today in Osborne, Home Hill, and Willie, I just wanted to talk to you. You've been growing legumes in your sugarcane rotation for quite a few years now. Can you tell us a little bit about what got you started and what changes you've made along the way to including those legumes? Yeah, Danielle, um, originally we started uh, just growing for cover crop and um, decided that we needed to make money out of it as well. So economics came into it mm -hmm. and um, we sort of went from there and haven't looked back. So what are the main legume species you're growing, Willie? The main, well, we started off with dolly cost back in the day, but now our main ones is um, soybean and mung beans. Yeah. They're our main two um, and, yeah, whatever chickpea has never been looked at but because you don't make as much money yeah and the type of farming system so your planting configuration and the time of year you're putting those legume crops in yeah we um the timing is crucial i think it's um you, you don't want to you don't want to plant when it's the wrong time of the year because mm -hmm. you know mung beans you can lose over summer mm -hmm. over the wet season where i grow soy through the wet season and mung beans more in the spring crop which grow a lot better yeah and that's the way we do it that way yeah just because those soybeans are a little bit more tolerant robust. to those wetter conditions, yep. robust. Yep. Yep. And um, so your cane farming system, what row spacing are you currently on? Uh, we're just changing over from uh, 5 foot to 6 foot, 1.83. Yep. And um, loving it so far. It's a uh, it's mission changing over because there's a lot to go through. Yes. But I think in the long run, more into soil health, into uh, water penetration, I think all of it's going to be a plus. So in that transition to those wider rows, how do you see the legume crops fitting in? Are you then hoping to come out of the cane crop and plant your legumes into those 1.8 metre row spacings? Uh, after cane, there will always be a, a bed reconfiguration mm -hmm. um, due, to, due to the fact that you've got a lot of cane stool mm -hmm. and it's, it's, a, it's a big item to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So out of cane, there will always be a um, a cultivation then after that it'll be a zero bed zero till bed minimum till minimum till so then coming out of that legume crop the idea is harvest those crops and then come back into those same rows with yep. your plant crop yeah but i will plant uh, as a rule i will plant another crop i'll go okay. crop soys a crop of corn maize or rice or something along that line a grass yep. crop yep. and then back into soys and then back into sugar cane so extending that fallow period out a little bit yep. more to get those multiple crops in. Yeah, it's more to, um, we're, we're, you're breaking that monoculture just that little bit more. It's uh, a uh, five month crop's not quite enough. Enough, yeah. Yep. yeah. So I guess with those um, different crops that you're growing in the fallow and lengthening out that fallow a little bit more than traditional, you must be seeing some effects of that on your next cane crop. So oh, definitely, huge, huge yeah. effects, yeah. Uh, yield effects? Uh, yield and weed control. I was seeing okay. because we do, it's that's the main one. Uh, yield is is still good, uh, but the weed control is because with soys you're using different chemical base, mm -hmm. or sometimes you cultivate and sometimes you don't, and, and that way that way you are sort of um, getting away from that uh, re weed resistance. Yeah. You know, so because we use gramoxone a lot in sugarcane, but yes. in, we're using verdict in. Um, the, the uh, in, in your crops. legumes, so yeah. you're using a different type of chemical. Yeah. And then what about um, impacts on water infiltration or how well the soil then cultivates after that fallow period? Yeah, it, it, it does. It cultivates very nice. It comes up like chocolate, like nearly like flour. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's completely different sort of soil texture. Um, like the other day, I walked up uh, my plant cane. It was, it was just irrigated. We had six inches of water sitting mm. in the furrow. And every step, I would have seen two worms sitting on, the, on under the water. And I've never seen that before yeah. but that was a nearly a 36 month fallow, fallow block period. that was a long fallow block mm -hmm. and um and they were just coming up because of the water was lying there so they were getting out of the water mm -hmm. yeah. and i guess plans for the future obviously there'll always be refinements to the system but uh where do you think you're going to take these fallow crops into the future <laughs> i think what i'm doing now is where i'm going to stay mm -hmm. i really do I'm, I'm trialing 36 months but i think that's a little too long okay um, but I'm not going to say it's not a good idea, but I think it is a, the rotation we're in now seems to be a sweet spot. It in does. terms of your yield? Yield, crop, income, the whole whole scenario seems to be in a sweet spot right now with three three crops and then mm -hmm. back into sugar cane. And obviously the longer term impacts that's going to have on improving your, your soil yep. health to support both farming yep. systems. Yep. Not only that, it's the 
the sugar cane is supporting the, the beans mm -hmm. because you're, you, you're, you've got sugar cane in for five years. Yeah. So that there gets rid of a lot of different weeds that you can't get rid of with beans. Mm -hmm. So it, it, again, you're getting that disease resistance. So for you, it's very much a complementary system. Yeah, it's a farming system. It's not a. Mm -hmm. It's not just a way of thing. It's a farming system. Farming system. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks very much for sharing some of the insights that are pertinent to your operation with us today, Willie. Sounds good. Thank you very much.